Have you ever considered that the items in your bag could be blocking your financial success? Do you feel overwhelmed by financial scarcity despite your best efforts? What if a simple habit change could invite more abundance into your life? In this video, we're going to explore how the things we carry with us every day might be affecting our wealth and abundance. By the end, you'll have a clearer understanding of how to remove these blockages and invite prosperity into your life. Make sure to watch until the end to get all the answers you need for a better understanding. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insightful content. Let's start by thinking about why we often feel like we don't have enough money. Many of us feel this way even when we work hard. This feeling can come from a mindset where we focus on what we don't have instead of what we do have. For example, imagine someone who is always busy and tired, yet never seems to get ahead financially. Their constant worry about not having enough can actually make it harder to gain wealth. Buddha taught that our thoughts shape our reality. By changing our mindset from scarcity to abundance, we open ourselves to more opportunities and wealth. Next, Think about the stuff you carry in your bag every day. Clutter can block the flow of positive energy, just like clutter in our minds can block clear thinking. Imagine your bag full of old receipts, broken items and loose change. This mess can weigh you down both physically and mentally. Buddha's teachings on non-attachment remind us to let go of things we don't need. By doing so, we create space for positive energy and new opportunities. Cleaning out our bags and our minds can make space for new positive energy that attracts wealth. Mindfulness is another powerful tool. Sometimes we don't realize how small things in our daily lives affect our overall well-being and finances. Picture a busy person who doesn't pay attention to the clutter in their bag. This small oversight can lead to bigger problems like feeling overwhelmed and being less productive. Being mindful helps us make better choices. Buddha taught that everything is connected. By being mindful of our choices, we can create a positive ripple effect on our finances. In this video, we will dive deeper into these ideas and give you practical steps to bring more abundance into your life. From regular bag cleaning to mindful spending, each step will help you clear blockages and invite prosperity. Stay tuned to learn how to transform your relationship with money by making simple, mindful changes. One perception of financial scarcity is that many of us often feel that no matter how hard we work, financial abundance remains out of reach. This feeling of always being financially strapped is known as the scarcity mindset. It's a common issue where people focus more on what they lack rather than what they have. For example, think of a person who works tirelessly but never seems to achieve financial stability. This person is constantly worried about money, leading to stress and anxiety. This mindset can become a self-fulfilling prophecy where focusing on scarcity actually prevents wealth from flowing into their life. In the real world, this perception of financial scarcity can create significant problems. People may feel trapped in a cycle of earning and spending without ever feeling satisfied or secure. This feeling of lack can affect their decisions, leading to poor financial choices like overspending or taking on unnecessary debt. The stress from this mindset can also impact one's health, relationships, and overall well-being. It's essential to recognize this issue to start making positive changes. One way to shift from a scarcity mindset to one of abundance is through mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being fully present and aware of our thoughts, feelings, and surroundings. By practicing mindfulness, we can begin to notice the negative thought patterns that contribute to our perception of lack. For example, instead of constantly worrying about not having enough money, we can focus on what we do have and be grateful for it. Gratitude can transform our perspective and open the door to abundance. 
Let's consider the story of a person who transformed their life by changing their mindset. This person always felt that they were not earning enough despite working hard. They often found themselves thinking, I'll never have enough money. This negative thinking created a mental block that hindered their financial progress. After learning about mindfulness and gratitude, they started to shift their focus. Instead of dwelling on their financial problems, they began to appreciate the small successes and opportunities in their life. Over time, this change in mindset helped them to see new opportunities for income and financial growth that they had previously overlooked. Buddha's wisdom teaches us that our thoughts shape our reality. He emphasized the importance of the right mindset and mindfulness in achieving a fulfilling life. By cultivating a mindset of abundance, we can attract more positive experiences and opportunities. This doesn't mean ignoring financial challenges, but rather approaching them with a calm and open mind. When we focus on abundance, we become more creative and resourceful in finding solutions to our problems. In conclusion, the perception of financial scarcity is a significant barrier to wealth and abundance. By recognizing and addressing this mindset, we can start to make positive changes in our lives. Practicing mindfulness and gratitude can help us shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, opening the door to greater financial prosperity. Remember, our thoughts are powerful, and by changing our mindset, we can change our reality. 2. The Impact of Personal Belongings on Wealth Have you ever thought about how the things you carry with you every day might affect your financial well-being? Our personal belongings can have a significant impact on our wealth, often in ways we don't immediately see. Imagine your bag filled with old receipts, broken items and loose change. This clutter isn't just physical, it can create mental clutter that affects your ability to attract wealth. Clutter in our lives can reflect clutter in our minds. When we carry around unnecessary items, it can make us feel disorganized and overwhelmed. For example, think of a person whose bag is always a mess. They might spend extra time looking for things, feeling frustrated and distracted. This disorganization can spill over into other areas of their life, including their finances. By holding on to things we don't need, we create blockages that prevent positive energy and abundance from flowing into our lives. Buddha's teachings on non-attachment remind us to let go of things that no longer serve us. By practicing non-attachment, we can free ourselves from the burden of carrying too much. This doesn't mean we have to get rid of everything but rather we should be mindful of what we keep. Imagine a person who cleans out their bag regularly, only keeping what is necessary and valuable. This practice can lead to a feeling of lightness and clarity, making it easier to focus on important financial goals. Mindfulness is key in assessing our belongings. When we take the time to carefully consider what we carry with us, we can make better decisions about what to keep and what to let go of. For instance, a person might find that by regularly cleaning out their bag, they feel more organized and in control. This sense of control can extend to their financial life, where they start to manage their money more effectively and make better choices. Let's look at a story of someone who transformed their financial life by decluttering. This person used to carry a heavy bag filled with unnecessary items, they felt stressed and overwhelmed, often losing important things in the mess. After learning about the benefits of decluttering, they decided to clean out their bag. They got rid of old receipts, broken items, and anything that wasn't useful. This simple act of cleaning their bag made them feel lighter and more focused. They noticed that their finances started to improve as they became more mindful of their spending habits. Buddha's wisdom teaches us that our external environment reflects our internal state. By keeping our personal space organized and free of clutter, we can create a positive and inviting space for abundance.
This practice of mindfulness and non-attachment can help us to remove blockages and open up to new opportunities. Remember, the things we carry with us every day can either help us move forward or hold us back. By being mindful of our belongings, we can create a clear path to financial prosperity. If this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom Diaries channel. 3. Mindfulness and Interconnectedness Mindfulness is a powerful tool that can transform our lives, especially when it comes to our finances. Being mindful means being fully present and aware of our thoughts, feelings and actions. When we practice mindfulness, we can see the connections between our daily choices and their impact on our financial well-being. This awareness can help us make better decisions and invite more abundance into our lives. Often, we go through our daily routines without paying much attention to the small details. This lack of awareness can lead to habits that block our financial growth. For example, a busy professional might rush through their day, not noticing how their spending habits add up. They might buy things they don't need or forget to manage their finances carefully. This lack of mindfulness can create financial stress and hinder their ability to save and invest wisely. By becoming more mindful, we can break these habits and make choices that support our financial goals. One key aspect of mindfulness is understanding the interconnectedness of all things. Buddha taught that everything in our lives is connected. Our thoughts, actions and environment all influence each other. When we are mindful of this interconnectedness, we can see how small changes can have a big impact on our finances. For example, keeping our personal space organized can lead to a clearer mind, which in turn can help us make better financial decisions. By being mindful of the connections between our actions and their outcomes, we can create a more prosperous and fulfilling life. A great way to practice mindfulness is through meditation. Meditation helps us slow down and focus on the present moment. It allows us to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment. By meditating regularly, we can develop a deeper awareness of our inner state and how it affects our outer world. Let's consider the story of someone who used mindfulness to improve their financial situation. This person used to feel constantly stressed about money, always worrying about bills and expenses. They decided to start practicing mindfulness and meditation. By taking a few minutes each day to meditate and reflect on their finances, they began to notice their spending habits and how they could improve them. They started making more thoughtful choices, such as saving a portion of their income and cutting unnecessary expenses. This mindful approach helped them reduce financial stress and build a more secure future. Buddha's wisdom teaches us that by being mindful and recognizing the interconnectedness of all things, we can transform our lives. By paying attention to our thoughts and actions, we can create positive changes that support our financial well-being. Mindfulness helps us see the bigger picture and understand how our daily choices impact our overall prosperity. By incorporating mindfulness into our lives, we can invite more abundance and happiness into our journey. 4. Energy Signatures of Belongings Have you ever felt a sudden change in your mood or energy just by touching an object or entering a room? This happens because everything around us carries an energy signature. The items we keep in our lives, including those in our bags, can influence our well-being and financial prosperity through their energy. Each object holds energy based on its history and our feelings towards it. Think about a favorite piece of jewelry that brings you joy every time you wear it. Now consider an old receipt crumpled at the bottom of your bag, reminding you of an unpleasant purchase. These items, though small, carry energies that affect your mood and mindset. By understanding and managing these energy signatures, we can create a more positive environment 
that supports our financial goals. Negative energy can accumulate in common items we carry every day. For instance, broken items can symbolize unfinished business or unresolved issues. Loose change, often forgotten, can represent scattered resources and lack of attention to finances. Branded merchandise might carry the energy of consumerism and materialism. By clearing out these negative energies, we can make room for positive, uplifting energies that attract abundance. One way to manage these energy signatures is through mindful cleaning and organizing. Regularly emptying your bag and assessing each item can help you decide what to keep and what to let go. For example, instead of letting receipts pile up, review and organize them. If they are no longer needed, dispose of them properly. Fix or discard broken items to eliminate the negative energy they carry. Gather loose change and put it in a designated place. By doing this, you can ensure that the items you carry support a positive and abundant mindset. Let's look at a story of someone who transformed their life by understanding the energy signatures of their belongings. This person always felt drained and unmotivated, especially at work. They realized their bag was filled with old broken items and loose change. After learning about energy signatures, they decided to clean out their bag. They removed everything that felt negative or unnecessary and only kept items that brought them joy or served a clear purpose. This small change made them feel lighter and more positive. Over time, they noticed their work performance improved and they felt more confident in managing their finances. Buddha's wisdom teaches us about the importance of our environment in shaping our experiences. By being mindful of the energy signatures of our belongings, we can create a space that supports our well-being and financial prosperity. Removing negative energies and inviting positive ones helps us stay focused, motivated and open to opportunities. Remember, the things we carry with us every day can impact our mood, mindset and financial success. By being mindful of these energy signatures, we can create a harmonious and abundant life. In conclusion, the energy signatures of our belongings play a crucial role in our financial well-being. By understanding and managing these energies, we can create a positive environment that attracts abundance. Regularly cleaning and organizing our personal space can help us remove negative energies and invite positive ones. This practice, rooted in mindfulness, allows us to align our external environment with our inner goals, paving the way for financial prosperity and overall well-being. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom Diaries channel. 5. Negative Impact of Common Items In this section, we'll explore how the everyday items we carry can negatively impact our financial well-being. These common items, though seemingly harmless, can carry negative energy that blocks the flow of abundance into our lives. By understanding and addressing these impacts, we can create a more positive environment for financial growth. Consider old receipts. Many people carry around receipts without thinking much about them. These pieces of paper often remind us of past expenses, sometimes unnecessary or regretted purchases. They carry the energy of those transactions, which can weigh us down. Imagine someone whose bag is cluttered with old receipts from various purchases. Each time they see or touch these receipts, they may unconsciously relive the stress or regret associated with those expenses. By regularly clearing out these receipts, we can release the negative energy and create space for new, positive financial experiences. Broken items are another common culprit. Carrying around broken items can symbolize unresolved issues and unfinished business. This can create a sense of stagnation and hinder our progress. For example, a person might keep a broken pen or a cracked phone case in their bag. These items, though small, 
can remind them of tasks they haven't completed or problems they haven't solved. This can create a subtle but constant feeling of being stuck. By repairing or discarding broken items, we can clear out this stagnant energy and make room for new opportunities. Loose change is often overlooked, but can also have a negative impact. Scattered coins in the bottom of a bag can symbolize scattered resources and a lack of financial focus. For instance, someone might have a handful of coins rolling around in their bag, forgotten and unused. This can reflect a broader habit of not paying attention to small amounts of money, which can add up over time. By gathering and organizing loose change, we can develop a mindset of valuing and managing all our resources effectively. Branded merchandise, especially items we receive for free, can carry the energy of consumerism and materialism. These items often clutter our space without adding real value. For example, a person might have several promotional items in their bag, pens, keychains or notepads with company logos. While these items can be useful, having too many of them can contribute to a cluttered and disorganized environment. By being selective about what branded items we keep, we can reduce clutter and focus on things that truly serve our needs. Food wrappers and packaging can also carry negative energy. These items often accumulate without us realizing it, adding to the clutter in our bags. Imagine someone who often eats on the go and tosses food wrappers into their bag. Over time, these wrappers can build up, creating a mess and a sense of neglect. By disposing of food wrappers and packaging promptly, we can maintain a clean and organized space which supports a clear and focused mind. 6. Buddhist Teachings on Abundance Buddhist teachings offer profound wisdom on achieving abundance, not just in material wealth, but in all aspects of life. These teachings guide us to understand the nature of abundance through principles like impermanence, mindfulness, generosity, non-attachment, and interconnectedness. By applying these principles, we can invite prosperity and fulfillment into our lives. Impermanence is a fundamental Buddhist concept. It teaches us that everything is in a constant state of change. This understanding helps us see that our financial situation is not fixed and can change for the better. For example, if we are facing financial difficulties, knowing that this state is temporary can provide hope and motivation. We can take proactive steps to improve our situation, knowing that change is possible. Even small changes in our habits and attitudes can lead to significant improvements over time. Mindfulness is another key teaching. By being fully present and aware of our thoughts and actions, we can make better financial decisions. For instance, when we practice mindful spending, we become more conscious of our purchases and avoid unnecessary expenses. This awareness helps us save money and allocate our resources more effectively. Mindfulness also extends to how we manage our finances, encouraging us to regularly review our budget and adjust our spending habits to align with our goals. Practicing mindfulness in our daily lives can help us identify wasteful habits and replace them with more productive ones. Generosity is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice. By giving to others, we cultivate a sense of abundance and gratitude. This doesn't mean we have to give large sums of money. Even small acts of kindness can create a positive impact. For example, donating a portion of our income or volunteering our time can help us feel more connected to our community and less focused on our own financial worries. Generosity creates a cycle of positive energy that can attract more abundance into our lives. When we give freely, we open ourselves to receive more in return, whether it's through opportunities, friendships, or a sense of inner peace. Non-attachment is crucial for achieving true abundance. Buddha taught that attachment to material possessions and wealth can lead to suffering. When we let go of our attachment to money, 
we free ourselves from the anxiety and stress that often accompany financial concerns. For instance, instead of constantly worrying about accumulating wealth, we can focus on enjoying what we have and sharing it with others. This shift in perspective can lead to a more fulfilling and content life. Letting go of the need to control every financial outcome can also help us embrace the flow of abundance more naturally. Interconnectedness is the understanding that all things are related. Our actions, thoughts and environment influence one another. By recognizing this, we see how our choices impact our financial well-being. For example, creating a harmonious living space can improve our mental clarity and productivity, leading to better financial decisions. When we treat others with kindness and respect, we build supportive relationships that can open doors to new opportunities and resources. Understanding interconnectedness can help us see the bigger picture and make choices that benefit both ourselves and others. Let's consider a story of someone who applied these Buddhist teachings to achieve abundance. This person used to struggle with financial stress and felt constantly overwhelmed. They started by embracing impermanence, reminding themselves that their situation could improve. They practiced mindfulness by tracking their expenses and making thoughtful spending choices. Generosity became a regular part of their life as they volunteered at a local charity. They also worked on non-attachment, focusing on the joys of simple living rather than accumulating wealth. Finally, they nurtured interconnectedness by creating a peaceful home environment and building strong relationships. Over time, they noticed a significant improvement in their financial situation and overall happiness. Buddha's teachings provide a holistic approach to achieving abundance. By incorporating principles like impermanence, mindfulness, generosity, non-attachment and interconnectedness, we can create a life filled with prosperity and fulfillment. These teachings remind us that true wealth is not just about money, but about living a balanced and meaningful life. By following these principles, we can invite more abundance into our lives and share it with those around us. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. 7. Practical Steps for Inviting Abundance Inviting abundance into our lives requires practical steps that align with mindful living and Buddhist principles. By taking small, intentional actions, we can create an environment that supports financial prosperity and overall well-being. Regular bag cleaning is one such step. Often, we carry around unnecessary items that clutter our space and mind. By emptying our bags regularly, we can clear out what we don't need and keep only what is essential. Imagine the difference it makes to have a bag that is organized and free of clutter. This simple act can reduce stress and make us feel more in control. It also symbolizes letting go of the past and making room for new opportunities. Mindful receipt management is another important step. Receipts can pile up and remind us of past expenses, which may not always be pleasant. By reviewing receipts regularly, we can keep track of our spending and make more informed financial decisions. This helps us become aware of our spending habits and find areas where we can save money. For instance, you might notice that you are spending too much on non-essential items and decide to cut back. This awareness can lead to better budgeting and financial planning. Repairing or replacing broken items carrying broken things can symbolize unresolved issues and stagnant energy. For example, a broken zipper on a bag or a cracked phone screen can create frustration and negative feelings each time we use them. By fixing or replacing these items, we can eliminate sources of stress and invite positive energy. This act of taking care of our belongings also reflects self-care and respect for our resources. Consolidating loose change. 
Loose coins scattered in our bags can represent scattered financial energy. By gathering and organizing this change, we can create a habit of valuing even the smallest amounts of money. You might start by using a small pouch to keep all your coins in one place. Over time, this can add up and be put to better use, like saving for something meaningful or donating to a good cause. Mindful consumption. This involves being aware of what we buy and why we buy it. Instead of making impulsive purchases, we can take a moment to consider if an item is truly necessary and beneficial. This practice helps us avoid clutter and focus on quality over quantity. For example, instead of buying several cheap items that we don't really need, we can invest in one high-quality item that will last longer and serve us better. Mindful consumption also means being conscious of the environmental and ethical impact of our purchases, supporting businesses that align with our values. Let's consider a story of someone who applied these practical steps to invite abundance. This person used to feel overwhelmed by clutter and financial stress. They started by cleaning out their bag regularly, which made them feel lighter and more organized. They began reviewing their receipts weekly, which helped them become more aware of their spending habits. They fixed broken items and noticed how it improved their mood and energy. They gathered their loose change and started saving it for special treats. Finally, they practiced mindful consumption, choosing quality over quantity and supporting ethical businesses. Over time, these small changes made a big difference. They felt more in control of their finances and more connected to their values. Buddha's teachings remind us that small mindful actions can lead to significant changes. By taking practical steps like regular bag cleaning, mindful receipt management, repairing broken items, consolidating loose change, and mindful consumption, we can create an environment that invites abundance. These practices help us stay organized, reduce stress, and make better financial decisions. They align our actions with our values, paving the way for a prosperous and fulfilling life. Eight. Personal Anecdote Illustrating Transformation To truly understand how these practices can transform your life, let me share a personal story of transformation. This story highlights the power of mindfulness, organization and intentional living in creating financial well-being and overall happiness. Once I found myself constantly stressed about my finances and overwhelmed by the clutter in my life. My bag was always filled with random items, old receipts, and broken things that only added to my anxiety. I decided to take small, mindful steps to change my situation. First, I started cleaning out my bag every week. This simple act of organizing my belongings made a huge difference. I felt more in control and less stressed. Next, I began reviewing my receipts regularly. This helped me become more aware of my spending habits and identify areas where I could cut back. I also took the time to fix or replace broken items, which eliminated sources of frustration and brought positive energy into my life. Consolidating loose change was another small but impactful change. I started keeping all my coins in a small pouch and realized that even small amounts of money could add up to something significant. This practice taught me to value every resource I had. Finally, I embraced mindful consumption. Before making any purchase, I would ask myself if the item was truly necessary and beneficial. This helped me avoid impulse buys and focus on quality over quantity. I also made a conscious effort to support ethical businesses that aligned with my values. Over time, these small changes transformed my life. I felt more organized, less stressed, and more in control of my finances. I was able to save money and use it for things that truly mattered to me. Most importantly, I felt more connected to my values and more fulfilled in my daily life. 
Buddha's teachings on mindfulness and intentional living provided the foundation for these changes. 9. Cultivating a Mindset of Abundance Cultivating a mindset of abundance is crucial for attracting prosperity and happiness into our lives. Our thoughts and attitudes play a significant role in shaping our reality. By focusing on abundance rather than scarcity, we can transform our lives and invite positive experiences. Practicing Gratitude Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. When we regularly acknowledge and appreciate the good things in our lives, we create a positive energy that attracts more good things. For example, keeping a gratitude journal can be a powerful practice. Each day, write down a few things you are thankful for. This simple habit can help you maintain a positive outlook and foster a sense of abundance. You might be surprised at how much you have to be grateful for once you start paying attention. Visualization. Visualization is another powerful tool for cultivating an abundance mindset. By imagining ourselves achieving our goals and living a prosperous life, we can reinforce positive beliefs and behaviors. Visualization helps us focus on our desired outcomes and motivates us to take the necessary steps to achieve them. For instance, take a few minutes each day to close your eyes and picture yourself succeeding in your financial goals. Imagine the feelings of joy and fulfillment that come with this success. This practice can help you stay motivated and confident in your journey towards abundance. Affirmations. Positive affirmations are statements that reinforce our goals and values. By repeating affirmations regularly, we can reprogram our subconscious mind to believe in our ability to achieve abundance. For example, you might say to yourself, I am open to receiving abundance, or I am capable of achieving my financial goals. These affirmations can help you overcome self-doubt and maintain a positive attitude. The more you repeat them, the more they become ingrained in your mindset, gradually shifting your perspective from scarcity to abundance. In our journey together, we have explored many ways to invite abundance into our lives. We started by looking at how our thoughts and perceptions can create feelings of scarcity. By shifting our mindset to focus on abundance, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and opportunities. We learned the importance of keeping our personal space, especially our bags, clean and organized. This simple act can reduce stress and make us feel more in control. We also talked about how our belongings carry energy. By being mindful of what we carry, we can ensure that our environment supports our financial well-being and overall peace of mind. Mindfulness and interconnectedness are key to understanding how small actions can have a big impact. By being present and aware, we can make better financial decisions and create a more harmonious life. We also discussed practical steps like regular bag cleaning, managing receipts, repairing broken items, consolidating loose change, and practicing mindful consumption. These actions help us stay organized, reduce stress, and make better financial choices. A personal story illustrated how these practices can lead to significant improvements in our lives. By applying these steps, we can transform chaos into order and invite more abundance. This shows that these changes are not just theoretical, but can have a real positive impact on our daily lives. Finally, we talked about cultivating a mindset of abundance. Practices like gratitude, visualization, affirmations, surrounding ourselves with positive influences and taking inspired action are powerful tools. These steps help us stay positive, motivated and on track to achieving our goals. They also remind us that abundance is not just about money, but about living a fulfilling and balanced life. Buddha's teachings remind us that our thoughts shape our reality. By making small, mindful changes, we can create a life filled with prosperity and joy. 
Embracing these practices helps us align our actions with our values, paving the way for a fulfilling and abundant life. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Remember, small steps can lead to big changes. Keep practicing mindfulness, stay positive, and invite abundance into your life. Together we can create a world full of prosperity and happiness. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.